In this video, I'll show you how I made my motor pod for my fishing kayak. This isn't going to be an exact tutorial, but it is going to be a good example of how you could make one for yourself. The motor pod is for my Three Waters Big Fish 120, uh, but it's going to be the same concept for the 105 or for Feel Free Lure or basically the same concept for any kayak that has a sonar pod. So you might ask, what is the benefit of doing this? Well, for the people who have mounted their, their motor pod straight through the sonar pod, absolutely nothing wrong with that. But you do lose the ability to go into your sonar pod and have storage in it. With this option, you can go in the sonar pod and still have storage to put your wallet, your keys, or maybe even a small battery to power a fish finder. For this project, I used a Minn Kota Endura C2 30 thrust trolling motor. You can get them at Academy Sports for about $95. You will then have to disassemble the trolling motor. There are four screws found underneath the head of the trolling motor. Take these out. Once these are out, the cover off the top of the trolling motor can come off. Now, disconnect all wiring from the trolling motor and pull it through the bottom. Sit the trolling motor head aside, you'll reassemble it later. You'll now have to shorten the shaft of the trolling motor. I chose to leave about 15 or 18 inches on the bottom. You can use a cutting wheel or something similar, but be careful not to cut the wires of the trolling motor. So, if I could change one thing about the design of this, it's the tiller head for the trolling motor sticks out a little further than I would like and it just doesn't look quite as finished and clean as I would like. What I'll probably end up doing is going back and replacing this with uh, a wireless head and using a lanyard around my neck. Inside I have a yoga mat placed. Uh, it's cut to shape and it just gives it a sort of finished look. As you see underneath, it's just foam padding that's been cut to the shape of the sonar pod. If we pull the foam padding out, you'll start seeing what's going on underneath. I apologize because it is a little crude, but it is waterproof and that's the important part. So it doesn't look nice, doesn't look fancy, but with the padding in and the yoga mat, you'll never see it. No one else is going to see it, so it doesn't really matter. We just have some starboard that's been cut and been sealed with some marine grade silicone. This just keeps the water out and keeps the sonar pod, pod dry. From the underneath side, we drill through the sonar pod the same diameter as the trolling motor shaft. The trolling motor shaft was cut and this pipe clamp was placed on it. One thing important to note is that the trolling motor you use does not have to be a Minn Kota, but you need to make sure that it is only a two blade prop. If it's a three blade, if it's a four blade or any other type of unique setup, it won't fit through the sonar pod hole in the center of your kayak. Here you can see how the motor pod will look when installed in the kayak. This next part is optional. I took the battery connectors off of the motor and installed a quick connect to the front of the kayak. This runs through the inside of the kayak to a power supply at the rear of the kayak. I'll show you more of this in a different video. Alright guys, so overall the motor pod is a pretty good option if you want access to your motor 
while in your kayak. You don't want to climb over the back of the seat if you get tangled up. You don't want it hanging over the side causing an imbalance in your kayak. Hope this video was helpful. Have fun, be safe, like and sub.